Mexican Foods and Recipes Part 3 by Angel Nightingale Number 1 Burria de Chivo Goat Stew From the state of Jalisco, this dish is seasoned with a preparation based on some varieties of chili, seasonings, and salt. A tomato-based sauce is prepared with the juices from the cooking, called consum. Burria was originally made with goat, but lamb, mutton, pork, chicken, veal, beef, or fish can also be used. Ingredients 3 Anko chili peppers 1 cup white vinegar 15 whole black peppercorns 1 inch piece fresh ginger root 2 garlic cloves 3 whole cloves 1 pinch marjoram 1 pinch grand cumin 1 pinch thyme 4 and a half pans goat leg 4 meat sauce 2 cups water 3 whole black peppercorns 2 pans plum tomatoes 2 garlic clove Pinch dried marjoram Pinch dried thyme Pinch grand cumin To taste salt 2 whole cloves 4 hot sauce 30 chilies de arbol A quarter cup white vinegar 10 whole black peppercorns 1 garlic clove 2 white onions Directions Bichia de Chivo is a goat meat dish, simmered in a sauce of anko chilies and spices and cooked on low, low heat until it is melt in your mouth and fall off the bone tender. This popular Mexican dish is almost always served with refried beans and tortillas, part stew and part dip. Because this dish is quite labor intensive and uses goat meat, it is often reserved for special occasions. How to make Burria de Chivo Take a pot of water and bring it to a boil. Add anko chili peppers to it and cook for 5 minutes. Remove the pot from the flame and keep aside for 10 minutes so that chilies soak hot water. In a blending jar, add the chilies, 1 cup vinegar, ginger, 2 garlic cloves, 15 peppercorns, 3 cloves, 1 pinch marjoram, 1 pinch cumin, and 1 pinch thyme. Blend all of them until it becomes a smooth paste. Strain this marinade in a separate bowl. In another bowl, add the goat meat and the marinade. Mix it well to coat the meat completely. Cover it and refrigerate for 8 hours. Preheat the oven to 350 of 175 OC. Meanwhile, transfer the meat into a baking dish and cover it with aluminum foil or lid. Bake it for about three and a half hours until the meat becomes tender. Now, uncover it and cook it again for 15 minutes until the meat gets brown. Cover the meat to keep it warm. Pour the meat juice into a container and store it. Take a large pot of water and bring it to a boil. Add tomatoes to the pot. Boil them for 5 to 10 minutes until they become soft. Drain the tomatoes and cool them. Peel the tomatoes and put them in the blender with the preserved meat juice, 2 cups water, 3 peppercorn, 2 cloves, 2 garlic cloves with 1 pinch of thyme, marjoram, and cumin. Blend to make this meat sauce smooth. In a small saucepan, add meat sauce and salt. Bring it to a boil. After a boil, reduce the flame to medium. Take a pot of water and bring it to a boil. To it, add anko chili peppers and cook for 5 minutes. Drain the chilies. In a blending jar, blend the chilies, a quarter cup vinegar, 10 peppercorns, 1 garlic clove, and salt into a smooth hot sauce. Strain it into a glass. Chop the meat into bite-sized pieces and serve them with hot sauce and meat sauce. Lastly, serve it with onions. Number 2 Guacamole con Charpulins You can find this in the state of Oaxaca and Mexico City. It is the perfect combination of creamy avocado and crispy, acidic grasshopper. They are delicious and very nutritious as they have a high protein content. Ingredients 2 ripe avocado 2 lemons lemon juice 100 gr charpulins A quarter onions a half cup coriander leaves, two green chilies, a quarter cup water, to taste grain salt, to taste pepper directions, 
For some, this traditional Mexican dish is nothing more than a novelty at a night market that they will only ever eat once to say they tried it. For others, this dish is a staple of their diet, and something they like to cook to while their guests. Either way, you can't miss out on this staple of Mexican street food, guacamole with grasshoppers. How to make guacamole con charpulins. Mush the avocado pulp lightly with the lemon. Blend the chilies, onion, cilantro, and water. Pour over avocado and salt and pepper. Place the grasshoppers on top of the guacamole and serve in tacos. Number 3 Machuca, Shredded Dried Beef This is one of the most popular dishes on the northern side of Mexico. Machuca is very versatile, you can either eat it in a taco, a stuffed burrito, flotes, or just as a stew with some tortillas, beans, or rice on the side. Machuca is simply a shredded version of dried beef with a proper seasoning. It is delicious. Ingredients 1 pound boneless beef chuck 1 cup water 6 peppercorns 1 for medium onions Salt 1 garlic clove 1 4 teaspoon salt 1 tablespoon vegetable oil A half medium onion 1 California chili pepper 2 small tomatoes 1 4 teaspoon ground cumin Fresh ground pepper Directions Share Machuca is one of the most popular dishes on the northern side of Mexico. It is traditionally made from meat, often beef or pork, or sometimes horse, as well as onion, tomato, and peppers. This meat is enjoyed in tacos, burritos, or just as it is with a side of tortilla chips. It can often be served as a stew on top of rice and beans. Machuca is said to be one of the oldest forms of drying meat, as the meat for this dish is often dried in the warmer months, so families can enjoy this dish year-round and mail it to their family members all around the world. How to make machuca, shredded dried beef. Place meat in a large saucepan. Add water, peppercorns, a quarter onion, and salt to taste. Bring to a boil, reduce heat. Cover and simmer until meat is very tender, about one and a half hours. Cool the meat in broth. Drain, reserving one third cup broth. Mash garlic with a quarter teaspoon salt to make a paste. Heat oil in a large skillet. A chopped onion and garlic paste. Cook until onion is tender. Cut chili into short strips. Add chili strips and the tomatoes to the cooked onion. Cook 3 to 4 minutes. Add meat, cumin, and freshly ground pepper to taste. Cook until the meat is heated through. Stir in reserved broth. Taste and add salt if needed. Keep warm. Can be served as a main dish or in tacos or other tortilla dishes. Hope you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more delicious recipes. Have a beautiful day to each and everyone.